The hum of machinery echoed through the vast facilities, revealing the latest feats of defense engineering. At the forefront were two industry giants, Northrop Grumman, partnering with Raytheon Technologies, and Lockheed Martin, joining forces with Aerojet Rocketdyne. Both were racing towards a common goal, to design the next generation Interceptor NGI, a replacement for the ground-based interceptors GBIs currently in service. The price for their efforts? A combined contract of $1.6 billion. Inside Northrop Grumman's newly inaugurated premises, dedicated in part to the NGI project, Lisa Brown, who helmed Northrop's bid, addressed a cluster of reporters. We've finalized the manufacturing for all three NGI stages, she declared, a hint of pride in her voice. Now, we're on to the next phase, filling these casings with inert propellant and beginning the integration process at Redstone Arsenal, she added, a sparkle of anticipation in her eyes. By the close of 2023, we'll commence static firings of the NGI's solid rocket motors. Almost simultaneously, Lockheed Martin echoed its progress. A statement released by the company boasted of successfully validating all design elements of their NGI with the Missile Defense Agency. Their success, the statement explained, lay in their ability to mature the design and mitigate risks associated with critical technologies. History beckoned from the city of Huntsville. A year prior, both competing teams had embedded themselves deeper into the city's fabric, emphasizing their commitment to expedite the NGI's deployment. The urgency was palpable, considering the rising intercontinental ballistic missile threats emanating from North Korea and Iran. While Lockheed Martin inaugurated a 16.5 million missile system integration lab in 2022 exclusively for NGI's development, Northrop responded by unveiling two expansive facilities of its own. Currently, 44 GBIs stand vigil. Most of them, primed and ready, reside in Fort Greeley, Alaska, with the remainder stationed at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. However, these GBIs possess a limitation. They lack the capability to counter missiles equipped with multiple kill vehicles or decoys. This complexity made the interception process daunting, as defense officials duly noted. Vice Admiral John Hill, the recent director of the Missile Defense Agency, outlined a vision. NGI deployments in underground silos by approximately 2028. However, the competitive spirit between the two teams pushed boundaries, each asserting their ability to achieve the goal a year earlier. The NGI's rapid progress was significantly attributed to innovative design methods. Advanced digital techniques allowed engineers to expedite the design process, with Northrop's team even beginning hardware tests sooner than anticipated. Lockheed wasn't far behind in this digital revolution. Sarah Reeves, Lockheed's vice president, spearheading the NGI bid, highlighted their strategy. We've adopted a transparent approach using cutting-edge digital and model-based engineering tools, she said. This approach, Reeves emphasized, facilitated swift decision-making while ensuring adaptability. Both teams remain on the cusp of a significant milestone. The all-up round preliminary design review expected to be completed by the end of 2023. Clearing this hurdle will set the stage for a more in-depth evaluation projected for 2024. The NGI program was born from past lessons. In August 2019, the Pentagon had abandoned its redesigned kill vehicle program intended to modernize the GBI. Plagued by technical challenges, the program faced incessant delays and spiraling costs. Raytheon, under Boeing's subcontract, had shouldered the development of this ill-fated program. However, the subsequent months witnessed the Missile Defense Agency's fresh push towards a new interceptor. Cost projections by the Defense Department's Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation Office in 2021 
painted a staggering picture. NGI's development might carry a $13 billion price tag. Furthermore, its procurement, operation, and maintenance could add over $2 billion. As the script reaches its conclusion, one can't help but marvel at the marriage of technology, strategy, and ambition. The battle for supremacy in missile defense systems is as intense as the challenges these systems aim to counter. As both giants surge forward in their quest, the world watches, keenly awaiting the next leap in defense innovation.